if, if we look at, you know, fintech broadly, and it encompasses, you know, commerce and trade and payments, um, there is an enormous amount of data that's being generated. <laughs> I think that's only going to get more prolific as mm. we start to see um, essentially, you know, processes be attached to almost every device going. Um, and the amount of information that's going to throw off is going to allow risk capital to get closer to the source of risk. So in lending, it's going to allow um, alternative lenders to better price the risk uh, and actually lend capital to those individuals at a price that, that actually makes sense. Better in what sense? You mean in terms of making themselves financially more attractive to lenders? <laughs> well, the whole, uh, going back to even the data is the new oil perspective, how do you deliver efficiently how do you efficiently deliver financial services, high quality services, to a demographic at a lower price point? Well, you need yeah. to automate and uh, use all the technology tools you can to make that cheaper. And that's really, that's really where I think FinTech, uh, broadly speaking, has a lot of power. Uh, the data is almost like the machine readable form of expertise. So you're able to extract expertise and lower the cost of quality advice or quality financial services uh, to better serve a broader demographic. What new forms of currency do you see in addition to data and money? Because when we look at success, we always look at ROI. What's the ROI of this startup? Um, what's the ROI to our company? But should we be looking at ROI in a new way? Should we be looking at currency in a new way? The things we are doing is, in one way, a new currency because we can uh, provide user-generated data. That is what you are actually talking about a lot. Like Uber, we can talk about Airbnb. And uh, why doesn't that exist within health? Why is not our health data a currency? Uh, a patient today is not ga getting paid for their participation in that amount from in a clinical study, for example. Mm. The great error of the digital economy so far has been to turn data into, is to monetize data. Mm. And companies like Google and Facebook have said, okay, you can have our services for free, and in exchange, although it's not a formal exchange, they said, well, we're going to mine your data and they but become advertising companies. Yeah. Com I financial companies learn from that. I'm not sure it's about selling, but it's putting value to it. And it could be trading for, as you mentioned, the insurance company. Let's say that they want to raise the, uh, the cost for you because you have a certain disease. They are not allowed to for diabetes in the US, I know. But however, they could actually provide as well the patients that they got with better tools to monitor their disease and to work with prevention. And that is a value, and that is also currency. We're actually starting to see some, um, some green shoots in the startup community here in the US and overseas of companies trying to organize and control those, that data on behalf of the consumer so that they can actually, so they can actually monetize it and participate in, in the value that's, that, that's created by, by some of these big firms. What we're looking at with Peak is the, I would say, the real opportunity um, because we, there was a study done by uh, Radium One in 2015 that said that 70% of the world sharing is uh, dark. I mean, things through emails, things through uh, the sharing done through emails, text. Um, and obviously that constitutes that 30% is through Twitter, Facebook, and that's so the, the real opportunity is there, right? Um, and so with uh, the massive amount of data that's hidden, if you can bring even a fraction of that to, to light, then you can actually then figure out what these intents are for the customer. What, what, what the, and you can actually then do some of the things in a more uh, intentional way uh, where you can actually then sell data and make decisions, instant decisions, based on what the clients or users are doing.